Hey, it's me, JV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play... Oh. Let's not play. Sorry. Let's 100%... Ah. Oh. Wait, already? Jeez Louise. Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. I hope you've enjoyed this week so far. This has been... I feel like I'm going slow with this DLC, but I also feel like these episodes have been good, so... I, I don't know. Hopefully that balances out. Either way, uh, thank you so much for watching um, up until now. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it, because I want to end this one... Oh, this pre-war steak is something I was looking for, by the way. This is something that I'm pretty sure is unique to only this DLC. Uh, so we're gonna grab one. Um, yeah, they don't really do... I mean, how much do they heal? HP plus one. So it's like 10 HP, but you get negative uh, one endurance. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you want to grab yourselves a pre-war meat, if you're like me and want to hold on to everything, uh, make sure you do it before you leave here, because I'm pretty sure those are unique to dead money, uh, by the way. Also, Cosmic Knives. Uh, we'll take some as well. Come on. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to jump right in. I want to end with a banger. I hate that I said that. I don't like that word. It seems just so overused in everything that I hear about constantly. But anyways, let's take a look at what we're doing, shall we? Curtain call at the Tampico. Look for Dean in the Tampico Theater. Find Christine in the Executive Suites. Uh, not sure which one to do first, but I think we're going to do Last Luxuries first. And then this has opened up to reveal a whole bunch of stuff. Now, we dealt... Oh, it wants me to go through there anyways. Okay, we're gonna make a new save. We already dealt with Dog slash God, and I'm not even sure if we'll be able to talk to him anymore. Let's see. Thank you. For whatever you have done, I will remain here. Need to get my strength back. Okay, that's it. Uh, we probably missed out on some dialogue, but I think that's kind of good. You know, I think, like, if, if y'all are going to play yourself, then you can go through all the dialogue and, uh, you know, do it do it that way, um, which I think is good. Uh, where? Where? God, these... Okay. Oh, these radios, man. Still so stressful. All right, so, yeah, let's cram as much as we can in this episode as possible. I want to... Like I said, I feel like we've been going a little slow, but that's okay. Uh, oh, we're here. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, well, if that's the case, where is this freaking radio at? That's enough of you, sir. Okay, we're almost done with this whole wing of the uh, casino since we dealt with dog. Let's just see if there's any stim packs or anything. What is that? Medex in the toilet? Ew, don't apply Medex in the toilet. Come on now. You're all better than that, please. Please, if anybody right now is in a toilet listening to my video about to apply some medics, stop. Get some help. Okay, there must be another one in the um, in the other bathroom. So let's reset that. Quickly find it. It's not in the same place. That's so satisfying. Trust me, it's as satisfying as it is for me. Saw that out of the corner of my eye. Uh, as it is for you to watch. Okay. Hey, I want to give you a life update as we're heading to the next area. Uh, I am going to be just cooking, like, healthy stuff from now on. Uh, my diet has been constantly a struggle with myself. I wouldn't even say it's my weight. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with my, my weight most of the time. It's just my diet. I keep getting into trends where I eat things that are either too carby or too salty, and then it has an effect on me. You know, it kind of bogs me down. And as I'm getting older, as my metabolism is not what it once was... I'm feeling the effects more and more. So I just want to give you a quick update um, that I am uh, going to start just eat. Hopefully by the time that you're watching this, I would have, I will have already implemented that uh, meal plan. And I'll probably talk about it in a sub Saturdays too, especially if anybody expresses any interest in wanting to hear what I'm doing. Uh, but I already talked about it with my girlfriend and made a whole list. And so I'm going to be going for that just as a, just as a little life update. And I think uh, it'll benefit the channel and stream even more so than everything else I've been doing in my life lately will. Let's do it. You've got one of the floors reestablished. Good. Accessing the music archives now? Two more to go. Uh oh. It seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants was pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them. And don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. Now, why the hell would these guys be able to get in here? I call bullshit on that, but okay. We got rid of that guy. Uh, let's see. There's another one in here somewhere. Where are you, buddy? Where the hell is this guy? There you are. And I hear a third one over to my left, I think. Yep. Gosh, that damage is just magnificent, isn't it? Let's jump around him and get some headshots with vats. Bitch. 
beautiful. Oh! That is actually beautiful. I thought I queued up five. I was like, where's the fifth one? Uh, gas bomb, sure. Let's reload this since it takes 20,000 years, and we'll kill the final guy here. Hello, buddy. Should we get Grim Reaper's sprint or no? Or did we already get it? I'm just not aware. Hop! Hop! Okay. Let's see. What should we do here? I guess we should equip that laser pistol, huh? Um, I've known about it if you're thinking, like, why haven't you been using it? I'm just trying to say it because look how much energy weapon ammo we have. I guess we'll use it, though. The hollow rifle's good, too. Um, yeah, all right. We'll put that over there. We're going to save as much energy weapons ammo as possible since we're going to need it when we leave. Okay, buddy. Time to die. Critical strike and nothing? Critical strike and nothing. Wait, what? Why were we dealing so little damage with that? I have no idea. I'm sure there's a reason. All right, let's head into the executive suites. We'll pull out her pistol. Find the mute and deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. Floor is buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. Ugh. This is who I think it is. This is Christine. Recovered. In what looks like an old world hotel room. My class. Two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems. Primitive. Familiar. Sinclair. What the hell is going on? Oh man, I don't even remember Christine having a voice. That's so weird. Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! Okay, this is very odd. Okay, I, I, now I'm remembering, but I, yeah, I didn't, I thought Christine was mute the entire time. Claire! Oh, Jesus. Amongst the ghosts. It said, yeah, there's a challenge for alerting Sierra I'm Madre. By the holographic system. Ghosts, which is so weird to me. Okay, well, well, we'll move on past her. That's, yeah, okay. So, I guess, oh boy, we have another thing where, like, somebody will not stop talking. <laughs> Oh, it throws my concentration off so much worse than you might think. Today's physician. Uh, some ammo and some something that I can't think of because this lady will not stop talking. Okay, I really need to work on, like, being able to, you know, think while things keep talking. Okay, anyways. So, Christine has a voice now, which is quite interesting, isn't it? Shut up! Ugh! Gosh, it's dog all over again. Do we just need to deal with her? Because uh, this looks like a dead end so far. Oh, no, we haven't been through here. Okay, let's see. I can hear the other guests screaming to be... Yeah, that's amazing. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, she's got the crap out of me. Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me This is so creepy. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Where is she going? Okay, we need to get past her, either to the right or to the left. Let's save over what we had here. Please. Let me leave. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry, I... I should have trusted you. Okay, bye, crazy lady. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know where we're going, folks. I think we're past... Yeah, I think we want to go that way. But we're going to look around because there is something unique here. I'm not Sinclair. Why would they program her to, like, never stop talking? I don't get that. I have a thing with that, though. I'm not sure if that's a thing that resonates with other... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, where is it? Oh. Oh. Okay, that works. I think it's, uh, it's past this door. Or not? Okay, I'm kind of stressed, which is, uh, which is why I'm not talking much. There's so many things happening right now. Is it around the, maybe it's around there. Maybe that's why I can't see it. Is my Pip-Boy on or off? It's hard to tell because everything's so incredibly dark here. Uh, okay, let's open that. Nothing in there. Let's look in the bathroom real quick. So stressed, trying to concentrate. I bet it's behind there. I bet these cheeky... These cheeky Fallout devs Let put it back leave. there. Let's see if I'm right. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, 
No, looks like I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, let's keep resetting it then, because like I said, there is something unique somewhere around here. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Is that going to blow my head off? Oh, <laughs> okay. There is a bed we could use right there. Um, wait, is this just a dead? Yeah, this is just a dead end. Okay, did we loot that? Nope. And quickly now, quickly now. And grab the bobby pins. Yeah. Oh, nope. Can't. Okay. Never mind. Sinclair. All right. And we're out. Sinclair. Yep. Not Sinclair. Sorry. Okay. It's got to be close to... Unless they put it out of the... I don't know. All right. Anyways. Yeah. So these are the executive suites. Holy crap. There you are. I mean, there's, it's a different one for sure, but still. Now, what is this? This door is hermetically sealed due to a gas leak in the kitchen contaminating the air. The gas will need to be shut off in order for it to open. Uh, we literally did shut that off, but okay. I mean, did we not? Uh, we have this here. We have this here. Lots of jars of cloud residue in our inventories now, which I'm not so happy about. Just looking if there's any... Oh my gosh. The bobby pin mega load. Now, obviously, one thing you want to try to do is store as many non-weighable items as you can before you leave the Sierra Madre. This lady is going to drive me crazy, folks. She is going to drive me off the wall. We have a maintenance terminal with a thingamajig. I can't even talk. Hallway. Gateway. Healthy. And now it's one of these last two here. So do the do the one like this first. There we go. Okay, now we're good. That one, there we are. Okay, what do we have here? Disable hallway loudspeakers. Yes. Download Starlet Hologram Code Snippet. Sure. Download Recipe Superheated Knife. Yes. Played around with this the other day and... Okay, so this is one of the first Cosmic Knife recipes. There are two. This is one of the two things we're going to have to get before we leave here. So this is one of the two. Um, something to hold the damn thing to cook evenly. Preheat oven to blah, blah, blah. Take one knife. Leave on stove. Let simmer for five minutes. Watch as knife glows red hot. Put knife on table. Mets, melts table. Sue scientists who made damn thing. Give it to the military? <laughs> I love that last one. Give it to the military? Okay, yeah. We need to find the other recipe, and I'm not sure where to get that. Now, what is this one? Emergency network terminal. Override emergency door seal. Notes on emergency protocol. Been reading this over. In the event of a fire, chemical leak, nuclear attack, or other threat to the casino, the interior and exterior doors were permanent. I think we already read this. Yeah. I think we read that one. And we have a key here. Sweets maintenance key. Personal foot locker. Okay. Uh, we have a locked use key thing here. Was there anything else in this room that we didn't get? I don't think so. Bam. Now this must be a shortcut. And what were we locked out of previously? I don't even... other guests screaming to be let out. To let go. Hey! Hey! Sinclair, is that you? Hey! Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Okay. Oh God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. Just wanted to alert... Oh, no. Just wanted to alert, alert her for the thing. Jeez Louise. Okay, I think we go through here, maybe? I am lost as all hell. What about this? Okay, where the hell do I go, man? What is our objective? Find Christine. Right. Uh, there was a locked door at the start, I'm wasn't trapped. Oh, must be this way. Sinclair. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, where is that one thing, by the way? Can hear the other guests screaming to be let out. Yeah, great. Uh-huh. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Sinclair? It's Sinclair. Sinc yeah, uh huh. Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh, are you trapped? Oh, the security systems oh, won't I'm let me gonna out. cry. They're keeping me here. Hey, look at me real quick. Go. Goodbye. No, oh, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Wait. Oh. Okay. Shut up. Oh, did we not repair? Oh, that's why. Oh, it means there's a kitchen in here, which opened up the hermetically. I see. What the hell just happened there? Okay, give me that, give me that. Thank you. Uh, more cosmic knives and things. Uh, what's in this box? Yeah, we gotta start watching out as usual. Our carry weight is getting up there. Okay, let's go ahead and be on our way. Please stop talking. <laughs> Please, for the love of all that is holy. It is hard as hell to concentrate. All right, today's physician, we got a big ass chemistry set here. What is this, Vera's computer terminal, okay. We're getting into the nitty gritty now. Now the question is, do we find the person first? 
Look how big these executive suites are, by the way. What do you have, little guy? Sweet security pass. Okay, that's macabre. Um, no thanks. Okay, so Christine is super duper close. Now, before we go over in the... I think she's right through this door. Before we... Oh, big book of science. Spotted that out of the corner of my eye. Let's go ahead and read that before I forget about it. Do we have another book, too? I don't think so. Just... Yeah, just magazines, which are fine. Okay, before we uh, go interact with Christine, let's do this. Unlock security door. Okay, now that's for this, right? And we have Vera's safe. Pre-war money, Sierra Madre chip. That's what I was looking for. Vera's outfit. So barter plus five, speech plus five, charisma plus one. And I'm sure it would look absolutely beautiful on us. to the casino. Vault is locked. Find a way to open it. Okay, that goes down to the vault. We have a vault Did elevator microphone. Guess? This device is a voice recognition security system that protects ASA access to the Sierra Madre's vault. Unlocking it requires to speak at the microphone with a proper voice. To be let out. Oh, gotcha. We'll take that. We'll take that. And I think that would make an excellent uh, little thumbnail right there. So let's grab that real quick. Beautiful. Uh, I am I am not Sinclair, lady, and you were driving me up the wall just like God slash dog did. Okay, all right. Let's go speak to somebody that's a little more calmed down. You made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. So this is so we. Oh, yeah, that's right. She does sound like the woman in the uh, Sierra Madre broadcast. That is the same person. Just glad you're safe. Hold up here, I'll take care of Elijah. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. Now that is the same voice actress as the person that voices Lilith from Borderlands, uh, Borderlands, right? You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. That is exactly the same voice actress. I had some questions I wanted to ask you. All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. Okay. You sound like the woman in that Sierra Madre broadcast. Do I? It sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. it hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Now that your voice is back, what did you want to say? I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Lots of dialogue here. How long have you been hunting him? Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Settle it? You're here to kill him? Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. Sounds personal. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart, so I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable, left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. Oh, oh no. Well, we missed out on that one on the top left. Yeah, those challenges, those challenges are gonna be a tricky beast. Um, I don't think we can do those unless, I don't know, unless there's some way to get the rest of the story. He said he knew you. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else though who came along, knew about Elijah. He knew Elijah, how? No idea, a courier. 
wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there, told me where Elijah had gone, helped me heal up, listen to my story. He sympathized. I know Elijah needs to be dealt with, just let me handle it. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. Okay, so I'm going to run through these very quickly here. I don't want to spend the rest of this episode on dialogue. So how did you get here from the gala vent and onto this floor? The gala went off. Got outside. Also, it seemed like the light as for being assigned to this floor. Okay, there's a chance he'll see reason. Try and reason with him. You could have said something sooner. Wasn't sure. Does that auto dock there work? Yeah, it's still functional. Anything you could download off of it? I can see. A lot of medex was dispensed for... Here's the medical report. Looks... I'm not even sure she knew if these... Okay, so that ties back to her being uh, doped up on medex constantly. Can the auto dock heal your scars? No. Well, I was hunting Elijah in the big... It... Did something. It just ends up being a mishmash of sim... You said you got off lucky. Yeah. I saw records of other... Never going back. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the elect- Then I got here, and my voice- Okay, looks like that's about it. How the heck do I get out of this loop? Looks like you got almost- Oh god. Oh no, we're not stuck in this loop, are we? Uh, there's a chance we'll see reason you could have said something sooner? Does that- <laughs> Uh... Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, lot, that was just way too much dialogue. I don't want to end this um, episode with, like I said, the rest of the, the rest of the dialogue. So if you really want to see those, um, you know, obviously just pause the video. I know I went pretty fast there, but um, yeah. So obviously, her and Elijah have history. We've got another Vera's dress there. And you can see what it looks like. Uh, in fact, in fact, this will make a much better thumbnail, I think. So just bear with me one second here. Okay, how about light off? Nice and rosy, how about light on? Okay, this is kind of messed up considering what I'm making a thumbnail out of here, but oh well. Okay, so we'll take that dress as well. Uh, and yeah, so she kind of just overdosed on super stim packs and medex. There's medex everywhere. Uh, we've got absinthe, we've got a nightstand with some Sierra Madre chips. We're going to heal up for an hour. Uh, we have a couple of magazines there, some more Madre chips. Man, we're getting so many of those chips. Uh, that was used with the key that Christine gave us. We have that and Vera Key's Audition. Uh, we have this auto dock. We'll heal all of our crippled limbs if we have any. And let us be on our way. Thank you very much, Christine. Good luck. Um, okay, so I think we want to go through here, no? Wait. This key is not for this, right? Right. What about this? Please speak for... Oh. Welcome is... Key. Wait a second. Can't we use the... Can't... Okay. Wait. Let's save here. Can't we use the... um. The holotape to do this? Let's go into data. Miscellaneous. Uh, medical report... Oh man. Okay, we'll read all these in the net. Yeah, that, that's just like I said. I want. I want to. I want to get a lot of stuff done in this episode, as opposed to just dialogue and uh, readings. But here we have her audition. Would you stop? <laughs> Such a kidder. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. God, this script. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to have the. Is that a plane overhead? Those bombers are nothing but big hornets buzzing around the sky these days. Is it gone? Alright. Like this is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. Malcolm, ever since our freighter went down, I feel like my heart's fallen to the bottom of the ocean along with my... Ugh. Along with my career. God. <laughs> alright, alright. Huh. 
Now, I would have thought that would have worked because we're playing her voice, you know, but maybe not? Obviously, we still have one companion to deal with, so I didn't think it'd be that easy, but still. Okay, so we're gonna try to go see what that situation- Oh, really? We're gonna try to go see that- what that situation is like, uh, before the end of this episode. Another fragment. Good. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. Okay, thanks, pal. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, quickly now, quickly now, quickly now. Reload, reload. Go down to the knife spear. Come on, uh, knife, what? Where's my knife spear? What in the hell? It's just gone. Knife spear, knife spear. Throwing knife, what? Yo, I don't know. I have no idea why that was removed. Okay, good, oh God, okay. This guy gets full health, are you kidding me? Okay, well he just exploded. So basically we need criticals to come out. Holy crap, this is gonna be tough fighting through these dudes. Uh, let's use the holo rifle. Yeah, we'll pull it out for the big boys. Okay, we're taking lots and lots of damage. Let's go for the head. Down he goes. Quickly now, quickly now. Oh my god, this this jerk in the corner is getting like multiple hits on me with those knives. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, reload. Uh, where are we going, by the way? Into the theater, of course. All right, we'll clear these guys out just in case they persist. Oh! If I die to this guy, I'm going to be sour as a sourpuss. Come on. He still has HP, but oddly enough, he has dissipated. Weird. Okay. Now, here's where things get a little dicey because, as a lot of people mentioned, um... I didn't realize this was how it was with Dean. Uh, I totally didn't realize this whatsoever. With Dean, apparently, I think you don't want to pass the speech options, which, of course, is completely counterintuitive, right? You would never think to do that. Um, but because we already passed some speech things with Dean, I think we're kind of screwed with him. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Uh, now, do we have anything else to heal here? Purified water's great. All right, we're going to digest all of those real quick. Do they not even stack? Our health is increasing the bottom left. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's make a new save here and go and see what's up with Dean, which we could have done, I guess, before this too. Um, we have curtain call at the Tampico. Look for Dean in the Tampico Theater, which should be right here. Is that ghoul still alive? Correct that. Or break him. Yeah, man, so not everybody has to die. Uh, I know that that's kind of your modus operandi, but it's really not how I want to do things. You know, no offense. Let's break into this terminal uh, real quick. Let's do... Boom. First time's the charm. Okay, the Tampico... Oh my gosh. <laughs> this game is overloading me with data now. The Tampico shows list. The Sierra Madre opens its doors to the world. The opening of our great casino resort will feature a unique gala showcasing artists of the world renowned. Miss Vera Keys, Mr. Dean Domino, Joey Baxter, and Wilfred the Wizard. Come join us at the grandest event in the history of the West. We welcome you to the best time of your life. Sincerely, the Sierra Madre's management. The Tampico's performance protocols. Okay, performance preparations. Doors to the Tampico stage open. Hologram sentries on. Ambient audio system on. Stage audio system off. Performance in progress. Doors to the Tampico stage closed. Hologram sentries off. Everything off. Stage audio on. In case of emergency, see the stage's manager to override security protocols. Sierra Madre management. Lobby security code. And we have that one now. Sweet. Urgent message from Mrs. E. Saints. From John K. Lester, I'm on my way. I'll be right there, Eve. Just hide until I get there. Do whatever you need to understand. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Uh, from Evelyn, John, help. Everything exploded. There's smoke. Holograms are firing at people. We can't get out, John, please. God. Such a nightmare scenario, man. I don't even want to think about that stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Do we have this on or off? Again, it's so hard to tell because everything in this freaking DLC is incredibly dark. There is a radio. Oh, that's not a radio. Okay. Let's try to find Dean at least before we end this episode. That is a small ass little hollow tape. Look at that thing. Tampico's front desk terminal password. And here we have. That is a floor tile. 
Uh, let's see. That door's inaccessible. We can't go to the left, it seems. So it looks like our only option is to go over here to the right. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do this real quick. I want to see... How much do these cost? Oh, man, would you look at that. We can make a hundred of these. Okay, we're going to do 50. Damn, dude. Yeah, people were saying they maxed out stim packs with the uh, help of... Um... You know, obviously the casino. And I'm going to make use of that too because stim packs are probably the biggest issue in a Fallout playthrough in terms of difficulty. If you, you know, just running out of stim packs, spending money on stim packs, etc. Um, I'm not going to make it OP though. I don't want to have, I don't want to leave this place with like a million stim packs. That's just going to make everything way too easy. Oh, get the heck out of here. All right, hopefully this does blow me up. Okay, good. Oh, man. Okay. Now, where the heck is Dean? Dean with his traps, as usual. Okay, we have another thing there. Dean is up there, it looks like. And I'm wondering if we can make it to him. Um, okay. I mean, we can't get behind the curtain. So, let's go this way, maybe? That requires a key. Freaking Dean with these tur with these uh, things everywhere. Okay. Let's, um, let's hop over this way. Ah! There we go. Talk broken intercom. It's broken. Door sealed. Must be a key in the backstage. Hunt for it. Oh, now I see. Gosh darn Dean. Okay, he's gonna make us literally find the key in this minefield of... In this minefield of, uh... Yo, where... Okay, where do I go to be safe? God. Yeah, in this minefield of, uh, radio speakers. Alright, we're gonna save here. I genuinely don't remember where the key is. Um... Jeez, if I were a key, where the hell would I be? Yeah, the problem is we don't have much time to find things, obviously, before our head goes kaboom. The stage is relatively safe. Take Vera's paratures? A key slides out of Vera's par- Well, there it is. Okay. So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. Now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. Now, here we go. I think we already messed up, but we well, we we shall see. Okay, so we're going to pick our stuff very carefully here. Let's start lightly. How did you get from the gala event to here? Me? I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started. And before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. Ghost people. Lots of them. But that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open, nowhere I was letting you get in first. I walk in. There's a flash, and I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. He always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. Don't act stupid. Let's get out of here. Stupid? No, playing it smart. You're the dumb one, waltzing in here without realizing who the headliner is. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. And the callers? You sound awfully eager to kill someone whose life is tied to yours. No, no. The callers. I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated, but it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth sailing to the Sierra Madre. Really? What makes you think you can slip out? Way I figured it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is. 
and where the safest place in the whole theater is. Backstage. You, you're trapped down there, and you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors, or cancel security if you tried. That plan sounds pretty clear to me. Wait. That plan sounds pretty clear to me. Got it. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you belong out in the audience. I mean, not like... Uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. We'll talk about this more when we're face to face. Of all the... Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. Yeah, we'll see about that, Dean. Okay, so I think you can cause things to do... Uh, you can... Oh. Oh, really? Okay, I thought that was gonna be the key. Uh, what is that, by the way? Oh boy. All right, we're gonna do this fast. Hello, gentlemen. Nice to see you. Gotcha. Excuse me. Have a man to see. Don't mind me. Hello, radio. Oh God, that wasn't the radio. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, barely made it. Bam. Wait, what? Repair a hundred. Oh wow. Well. I'll call that repaired. How about that? Okay, Dean, where are you hiding, you little bastard? Why was I not able to... What is going on with that specific radio over there? All right, we're going to make a save here. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to peace, uh, peacefully talk with Dean, which is fine. Um, I don't think we miss out on it. In fact, I think we actually get things from being able to do this. I don't know where these radios are. Oh. Okay, that's one. Man, Dean really set himself up nice here, didn't he? Saw you. Okay, so far so good. Where's he at? We have all this place to explore next episode, by the way. Which we will make a point of doing. What the blazes, piece of junk. You Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. Power off ambient audio system. There we go. Status report. Everything should be good now, huh? Now that's not cool. That is not cool. Where is this last speaker? That requires a key. That requires a key. That requires a key. Looks like we're gonna need to find another key for old Dean here. Jeez. This is so complex. But we'll be able to do it. Okay, Dean, where are you hiding the key, you little rascal? Let's see. That's inaccessible. He put this poison cloud crap everywhere, too. What a jerk. All right, give me that. Give me that. What are those? Eyeglasses. I thought they might... Dean has a specific set of eyeglasses and a, uh, and a coat. Or a uh, whatever he's wearing. Now, I'm assuming... I'm assuming this, this key is somewhere. What is that? Ah, give me that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm assuming this key is somewhere, but I don't... If it, if I had to guess, it would be in here somewhere for sure. Wardrobe. Thank you. Uh, that radio is not interact. There we are. Okay. What do we have here? Let's open this real quick. Come on. Come on. Okay. If you want to be that way, if you want to be hard to get, that's fine. Come on. Come on. Come, uh, come, come. There we are. Boom, Dean Domino's blackmail tape. Interesting. And I saw we had this. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and play that, shall we? Pretty as a picture. Pretty as a picture? Wait, what was that Partitures thing? This copy of Vera Key's part Partitures? Never heard of that word before. Contains several notes. Whoa, what was that? That might be someone actually becoming a patron. <laughs> Normally, I turn off all the normal notifications uh, when I'm recording videos. Um, like all the follower sounds and all the typical stuff. So that's really weird. That was like someone becoming a patron or doing bits or something. I don't even know what that was. Uh, anyways. Uh, most of the notations deal with how to best perform each melody. The first page shows a scribble that seems out of place. It reads, begin again, let go. Oh, we've heard that, haven't we? Yeah, wasn't that... That was like, yeah, we've, we've heard that line. I'm not sure entirely where. I wish I could find this last radio. Boom. So, 
Okay, Dean Domino saw her yesterday. Two bobby pins. Vera's master key. Oh, here we are. Sexy sleepwear, bobby pin. Uh, meeting people. We got a picture of Dean on the table there. What else do we have here? Like I said, we'll explore most of this in the next episode, but don't want to miss out on anything important, obviously. Take those bobby pins. Hello. Okay, very nice. And finally... Are you serious? Well, it opens that, but that doesn't do much. There is still another key? He's right in there. Where the hell? Man, I don't remember this being this crazily complex here. Uh, for anybody that wants extended episodes, well, there you go. Uh, let's try moving stuff, seeing if there's a key under it. Where would the final key be, I wonder? Well, we did pick up some stuff, didn't we? This holodisc contains Dean Domino's Melody Saw Her Yesterday. We got this ardent tequila for the uh, front desk thing. I cannot believe we still can't open that. So did we shut off all of the... We did shut off... Oh, maybe we have to go somewhere else now. Yeah, so we shut off all the holograms. Oh my god. These freaking radios, dude. It's not that because it's off, right? Oh, how annoying this is. Whoa! I thought that was faster for a second. Where does this go? We still don't have the key to that. This is insanity. Okay, I think... Wait, are one of the... Is one of these things a speaker? I'm hearing, like, all sorts of little sound cues and things. No! Oh, that was close. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna figure this out, folks, and I'll see you in just a second. Oh, okay, here we go. So there are so many locked doors and keys that this was really confusing the crap out of me. Basically, you want to come up here to these stairs. I used Vera's key to open up this door here, and I think now we're going to be able to get somewhere. So, Tales of Chivalry, we have a holotape projector. Oh. Play Dean Domino's holotape I saw her yesterday. Now, what the hell does that do? Head to the tip. No, 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 not this song. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not Dean's. That is not Dean's song. Blah, 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 blah. I have to do this. I'm so sorry. I, I could try to. I could try to mute it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm gonna let it play. Okay, I think now, we're in the clear. Deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Dude, I agree. To... All right, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. Oh, interesting. I think we'll go for the speech option first. You're not a betting man, which means I'm betting you have a key to this exit on you. Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. Give me the key, Dean, and you walk. All right, all right, look. I'll hand it over, I promise. No need to get all upset. We can both come out ahead in this. Quit stalling. Hand it over. Look, I give you this key, and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. And as I see it, I just gave up my ace in the hole. So the only chance I've got left is making sure you... Don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. Not after all this time. Has the cloud decayed your brain? Forget the Sierra Madre. I waited an entire lifetime. Sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything? untouched then you show up thinking you can just take it all from me you and the old man running the show i planned all this 
this. I made it all happen, not you. Sure, yeah. I have the key on me. I made other keys, too, to unlock the casino in Ruin Sinclair, finally. After all these years. No. Now... Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the vault. What a despicable person. I gave him his chance. I gave him his chance. I am so sorry. I really tried working with the guy. He's regenerating. Is that thing ever going to go up? God, those... Those freaking, um... Okay, you know what? Oh, God. We'll have a grenade off. How about that? It'll be an explosive ending to this week of Fallout New Vegas. Man, Dean can sure take a grenade for being a ghoul. To the door before the collar explodes. Move! Okay. So here's the deal. I'm not sure if we want that to end that way. If, if nothing's fine, if the 100% is untouched, then I'm fine with that. Because I really gave Dean all the chances to kind of reconcile here. But unfortunately, Dean really did not want to work together. So I'm going to make a new save. And here's the deal. If I messed anything totally up by doing that, and if there's any way around it, uh, we will reload this one. And um, I wish I could name these. That'd be amazing. But we'll, if, if, if everything's fine... For lore reasons, for story reasons, we'll continue this save. If something totally messed up because of that and I really need to go back, we'll do this one. And we'll uh, try to do things peacefully if there's a possibility. Leave, you, leave me your comments below if you have any preference or if you know of anything that might mess up. As far as I know, I think um, we're fine continuing, but let me know nevertheless. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. What an explosive week of Fallout New Vegas, literally. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you gals enjoyed. Thank you so much to everybody supporting me, especially for that person that just did something and made that Twitch notification happen. I'm wondering if that was a new patron. I'm not sure. But either way, uh, thank you to everybody supporting me and what I do. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Uh, the things I said earlier in the week about an open door policy and, you know, if, if y'all just want to join the community or anything like that, still persist, of course. Uh, so please feel free to do so. If you want to check out the Twitch streams, they're there. Everything's in the description, pretty much, if you want to see more of me. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. If you want to watch more of my content, I also stream on Twitch. The current schedule and link is below. And if you want to support me in what I do, Patreon is the best way. You get some perks. The link is also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching what I do, and I will see you next time.